Welcome to IQ, sponsored by New Horizons Credit Union and the Mobile County Public School System. I'm Bob Grip, your quiz master. Today's match features teams from Blunt, Davidson, and Citronelle High Schools. The questions you're going to hear this morning are prepared in 16 categories by educators throughout the country. They're all experts in their field. Here's how the points are awarded. In a regular category, each team will receive its own question in that area. The teams will then have 15 seconds and four opportunities to answer. A correct answer on the first try is worth four points. Each time an incorrect answer is given, it's worth one less point. And if a team misses it entirely, either of the other two teams can gain one point with a correct answer. I'll explain the rest of it as we go on. So good luck, team. Score as many points as you can. Citronelle, here is your question in current events. Give me the last name of the Housing and Urban Development Secretary who is dealing with a crisis of record-breaking real estate prices, surging rents, and homelessness. Wilkinson. Try again. <laughs> Davidson. Fudge. Fudge is right. Very good. One point. Davidson, your question now. At Fortum, the largest company in this country, discarded household plastic is transformed into clean pellets in an effort to save the planet. Name this country. Finland. Yes, four points. Correct. Blunt. The sale of tobacco or e-cigarette products to someone born on or after January 1st, 2000 is prohibited. The new law was passed recently in which state? Five seconds. Alabama. Try again. Tennessee. Try again. Nope. Citronelle. New Zealand. No. Oh. Davidson. Massachusetts. Yes, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Right, one point. American history is a topic to Citronelle. In the 1980s, a cornerstone of Soviet President Gorbachev's reform movement in the USSR included a term that means openness that resulted in greater market liberalization. Name this Russian term. Five seconds. Davidson? Glasnost. Right, one point for Davidson. Davidson. In 1995, an international body was created to promote and supervise liberal exchange between countries. Give the name of this international body. The United Nations. Try again. The World Trade Organization. That's correct. Three points. Right. Blunt. In 2004, a detention facility near Baghdad, Iraq became the focal point of prisoner abuse and torture following a scandal after photographs surfaced of American soldiers mistreating, torturing, and degrading Iraqi war prisoners. Give the name of this prison. Five seconds. No answer. Try again. Citronelle. Abu Ghraib. Yes, we'll take that. Abu Ghraib. Very good. One point. Biology. Some birds will follow the first object they see immediately after hatching. Name the process that allows a maturing animal to form preferences or social attachments to other individuals that influence behavior later in life. Imprinting. Yes, four points, correct. Davidson. Name the study of how natural selection shapes behavior. Ecology. Try again. Social Darwinism. Try again. Um, uh, evolutionary psychology. Nope. Hey, Citronelle. Behavioral evolution. No. Blunt. Evolution? Nope. The only answer I could accept was behavioral ecology. Blunt, your question. Identify the type of behavior displayed by a wren singing from its perch 
to prevent invasion of its home range by a neighboring bird. Five seconds. Davidson. Temporal defense? No, citronelle. Territoriality. Time for our first toss-up of the match. It's sports. The team hands on your buzzers. First team to push its buzzer answers first. Four points for a correct answer and only one answer per team. This German former professional tennis player was ranked world number one for a record 377 weeks, that's more than seven years, and won 22 Grand Slam singles titles, which ranks second since the introduction of the Open Era in 1968 and third all time. In 1988, she became the only tennis player to achieve the gold. Margaret Court Smith? No, I'll continue. I'm the only tennis player to achieve the Golden Slam by winning all four Grand Slam singles titles and the Olympic gold medal all in the same calendar year. She is the only tennis player, male or female, to have won each Grand Slam tournament at least four times. Give me her last name. Citronelle or Blunt, it's up to you. Citronelle. Williams. No, Blunt. Name Steffi Graf. Steffi Graf. No points. Literature is our topic. To Citronelle now. In Mark Twain's short story titled The Notorious Jumping Frog of Calaveras County, tell the amount of money the stranger and Jim Smiley each risked in a bet over how far each of their frogs could jump. $25. Try again. $50. Try again. $75. Try again. $100. Nope. Don't buzz in early, but now you can. Davidson. $20. No. Blunt. $1. Nope. $40 was the answer I was looking for. Davidson. In Alice Munro's short story titled Night, identify the particular object the narrator's parents placed under the doorknob of the kitchen door every night. Chair? Yes, four points, a chair. Blunt. At the end of Ernest Hemingway's short story, After the Storm, the narrator discovered that some Greek men had blown open the sunken ship and cleaned her out before he could return to it. Identify the specific type of explosive the narrator believed these men, these, these men had used to get the safe out of the sunken ship. Dynamite? Yes, four points, correct. All right, now we're gonna ask some questions in math and the rules change a little bit. This is a 60 second question. Teams get a copy of every question for possible bonus points. So, first question is directed to Citronelle. Now open your yellow math envelopes, please. A pizza slice is in the shape of a sector of a circle of radius nine inches and has an area of 27 pi over six. What is the central angle in degrees of this pizza slice? Just Citronelle's question for what's left of a minute. Thirty seconds left. Fifteen. Try again. Fourteen. Try again. Sixteen. Try again. Seventeen. Nope. Teams, wait for the buzzer. Don't buzz in early because then you go last. Okay, Davidson or Blunt, anybody want to venture an answer? Oh, Davidson. 10 degrees? No. Blunt? 9? No, it was 20. 20 degrees. All right, next question goes to Davidson. Everyone open your red math envelopes. The square of the cosine of an angle T, which lies in the second quadrant, 3 fourths, 
What is the value of the cosine of 2t? Your answer should be a fraction. Thirty seconds left for Davidson. It's going to be a minute later. Ten seconds. Eight seventeenths. Try again. Three fourths. Try again. Three fifths. Right. Okay, citronelle or blunt? Anybody want to venture an answer? There you go. Five seventeenths. No. Blunt. Three over two? No. One over two. One half. Did you say that? Blunt. This is your math question. Everybody open your blue math envelopes. If the complex number z equals one minus i is written in polar form, what is the argument, the angle, in degrees which lies between 0 degrees and 360 degrees if the modulus is positive? Thirty seconds. Ten seconds. Davidson? 315 degrees. Yes, that's correct. One point. Okay, We're finished with math right now. We're going to move to Shakespeare in 15 second questions. This one to Citronelle. In Act 4 of Henry V, the disguised King and Williams quarrel about whether King Henry, if captured, would allow himself to be ransomed. They agree to settle their scores after the battle if they survive. Identify the item each will wear in order to be recognizable to the other. A necklace. Try again. A ring. A ring. Try again. <laughs> Davidson. A glove. A glove is correct. One point. Davidson. In Act 4 of Hamlet, Ophelia, mourning her father, seeks an audience with Gertrude, who at first refuses to see her. Name the character who persuades Gertrude to relent by pointing out that a raving girl could generate bad publicity. Horatio? Yes, Horatio is right. Four points. Blunt. In Act 4, the two gentlemen of Verona, Julia asks the host if he is certain that Proteus is devoted to Sylvia. The host replies that he has been assured of it by someone who should know. Name that someone. Five seconds. Davidson. Valentine? No. Citronelle? No answer is Lance. Lance. The answer I needed. No points. Okay, geography is next. Back to our home team. The capital city of, Li of Libya is a Mediterranean port city along the country's northern coast. Name this city. Monroeville. Try again. Monrovia. No, try again. Monrovia. 
Davidson. Tripoli. Tripoli. Very good. One point. Davidson. A country in Africa is situated along the southwestern Atlantic coast of the continent between Angola and South Africa. Name this country. Namibia. Yes. Namibia is right. Four points. Blunt. The capital of Lesotho is located in the northwestern region of the country. Name the city. Five seconds. What was, what was your answer? Well, no, no, I was asking Blunt. Oh. Lusitia? No. Okay, Bl Davidson buzzed in early, so now it's Citronelle's turn. No answer? Okay, now Davidson. Mazaru? Yes, Mazaru's right. One point. We're halfway through the competition. Blunt has four points. Citronelle has five. Davidson is in the lead with 26. New Horizons Credit Union is a proud supporter of local nonprofits and education, including sponsoring the annual New Horizons Credit Union Scholarship. Visit newhcu.org to learn more about New Horizons Credit Union. All right, we're ready to begin the second half of our competition. Good luck, teams. Score as many points as possible. We'll start with some questions now in chemistry. Back to our home team, Citronelle. State the name of the particle emitted by thorium-234 in its decay to proctinium-234. Protactinium. Alpha particles. No, try again. Beta particles. Right, beta. So that was three points? Three. Three points. Okay, good. Davidson. When heated, fibers comprised of acetyl nitrile break down, forming strong, lightweight fibers used in sailboats, bicycles, and airplanes are produced and consist purely on a single element. Give the name of this element. Carbon? Yes, carbon is correct. Four points. Great job. Blunt. The colligative property known as vapor pressure lowering is said to occur when a non-volatile dissolved solute lowers the vapor pressure of a solution relative to a pure solvent. State the century in which the phenomena was first observed by chemists. 21st. Try again. 19th. Yes, 19th is right. Three points. Good. Citronelle, here's your question in art history. This famous French artist was the son of prosperous farmers from eastern France. He is most celebrated for his paintings from the late 1840s to 1850s depicting laborers or peasants. Give it the last name of this artist who painted several landscapes and hunting scenes from the mid-1850s and spent his final four years as an exile in Switzerland. Monet. Try again. Davidson. Suzanne. No. Nope. One. Picasso? No. Courbet. Gustave Courbet. Davidson. Inspired and encouraged by the Barbizon artist's example of frequently painting outdoors, the Impressionists left their studios and ventured out into the countryside and town to paint. Give the three word French expression for painting outdoors. En plein air. Correct. Four points. Blunt, here's your question. This British artist is one of the key figures of the Romantic era. He experienced visions from childhood and developed his own highly personal mystical philosophy as seen in such paintings as God Judging Adam. Give the last name of this nonconformist artist who developed a new method of printing his own illustrated poems in color, creating works in which the text and illustrations were interwoven. Sorry, no. Davidson. William Blake. William Blake is correct. One point. Okay, time in the competition for team choice. 
teams chose their own subjects before the match began. Four points for a correct answer, but only one answer per team. So, Citronelle, you chose a question in American history. Here is your question. Again, a reminder, one answer. In 1964, a voter registration drive in Mississippi was spearheaded by a coalition of civil rights groups. The campaign drew the activism of thousands of black and white civil rights workers. Name this movement. Five seconds. Blunt. Voting rights movement? No, David's not. Voter education project? No, Freedom Summer. Oh Davidson, here's your question. In literature, what answer? In chapter 17 of Maya Angelou's I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, as children waited for their parents to finish shopping at the narrator's family store, give the name of the candy that Uncle Willie spread out to share with them. Sweet peanut patties? Yes, very good, four points. Blunt, here's your geography question, just one answer. A northern African nation with a coastline on the Mediterranean sits between Algeria and Libya. Name this country. Egypt? Nope, Davidson or Citronelle, you can buzz in if you know the answer. Davidson. Tunisia? Tunisia is right, two points. Now, our second toss-up of the match, in this case it's Shakespeare, so everybody hands on your buzzers. First team to push its buzzer answers first. In Act Four of Julius Caesar, Brutus and Cassius quarrel bitterly while secluded in Brutus's tent, despite the guard of Lucius Antinius. Tintinius, a person intrudes, urging the generals to, quote, love and be friends. Identify this unnamed intruder by his occupation. Davidson. Uh, slave? No. Citronelle or Blunt? Cit Citronelle. Tax collector? No. Blunt. Servant? What was it again? Servant. No, it was a poet. Oh. Poet said that. Why no are you points. still in the Physics is our topic. To Citronelle now. Name the physical quantity to which temperature is proportional according to kinetic molecular theory. Energy. Nope. Davidson or Blunt? Davidson. Thermodynamics. No. Blunt. Friction? No. Kinetic energy. Oh. I needed both terms. <laughs> Davidson. Name the shape of the magnetic field surrounding a long straight current carrying wire. Half circle. Try again. Half sphere. Try again. Two spheres. Try again. Oops. Citronelle. An ellipse. No. What? A uh, eclipse. No. A circle. Or circular. Either one. What? State the name given to the proportionality constant associated with the elongation or compression of a spring. Seconds. Yeah. Citronelle. Elasticity. No. Davidson. Planck's constant. Nope. It was spring constant or force constant. No points. American government. The Citronelle. The United States Congress and state legislatures conduct much of their business based on firm allegiance to a political party, which becomes the basis for government action. Give the name for this. Partisanship. Yes, four points, correct. Davidson. The United States has a party system 
where in a typical election, only the Republican or Democrat Party's candidates have a reasonable chance of winning public office. Give the name of this party system. Two-party system. Four points, correct. Blunt. The United States is a type of society consisting of several distinct cultures and groups. Give the name of this type of society. Diverse. Try again. Mixed. Try again. Minority. Try again. Davidson. Pluralistic. Yes, pluralistic is the word I was looking for, right? Time for world history to Citronelle. Give the name of the mound builder culture that lasted from 800 AD to around the 1500s AD. The Mississippi. Right, four points. Davidson. This term in Greek means no place. In English, it has come to mean an ideal place as depicted in Thomas More's book of the same name. Give this term. Utopia? Yes, utopia is correct, four points. Blunt. Name the Protestant group that baptized people who were old enough to decide to be Christian. This group also taught church and state should be separate and refused to fight in wars. Quakers? Try again. Puritans? Nope. Davidson. Anabaptist? Yes, Anabaptist is right. All right. Down to the last question in today's contest. It is a math toss-up worth four points. There we go, clear that. Everybody open your white math envelopes now. The logarithm base P of a number is 21, and the logarithm base P of the number with Q subtracted is seven. We assume P is a real number greater than one. What is the value of the logarithm base p of the number given by the quantity x cubed minus q times x squared? Your answer must be an integer. Thirty seconds left for an answer in senior mathematics. Ten seconds, teams. Citronelle. Seven. No. Davidson or Blunt? Four. No. Three. No. Forty-nine. The answer was forty-nine. No points on that. So, final score today, Blunt with seven, Citronelle with 16. Today's winner, Davidson with 51 points. Congratulations.